Hello, Stacy here to show you how to shape pretzel rolls. We used the Alton Brown pretzel roll recipe. And after your dough is done rising, you're going to remove it from the bowl and you're going to form a log, okay, on an unfloured surface. Your dough will be coated in oil, so you won't need to put anything down because it's not going to stick. Use a bench knife and form your dough in a log. And I cut about 12 pieces off in sections. Once you have your first section, elongate it a little bit and you're going to roll it out just like you would Play-Doh when you were little. You remember making snakes? That's essentially the same thing. I just kind of pull and twist, or not pull and twist, but pull, and then um, you want to get your rope to be about 18, to 18 inches to two feet long. If you don't have a bench knife, that's okay. You can use a regular knife to slice your dough either way. It's not going to make a difference. You just you could even tear it off for that matter. Okay, once you have a rope that's about two feet long, you're going to take each end and you're going to bring it together like this. And you're going to twist the dough around on itself like this. And then all you have to do is wrap your dough in a circle like so, and tuck the end under. Now, when you've tucked the end under, you want to pinch it because this is going to be put in a boiling pot of baking soda water and, you, and it will come apart. So make sure that you pinch your dough and then set your roll aside to rest. And then you repeat with the next slice of dough don't worry if your rolls aren't perfect. We're not going for perfection here. They don't have to be exactly beautiful. Um, the more you do it, the more you will get better at it. The key is just to practice. Once again, bring your tips together and just roll the dough over on itself. And then roll in a circle and tuck the end under. Once it's tucked, make sure you pinch and set it on your pan to rest. And that's all there is to it.